Okay, video is now on. I'm leaving Aqueduct Racetrack, my destination, the A train station, either at Rockaway Boulevard or 88th Street. Yep. Pick three winners today. Not bad. None of them were long shots, but it's better than picking no winners. Okay. You gotta be very careful around here. See the, the first part of this journey is crossing the Resorts World parking lot. Okay. The weather is cool, breezy, and clear as you could see in the video. Parking lot. Seems uh, very full. Maybe not the capacity, or maybe it could be good yeah, to capacity. Whatever. At any rate, the increase in the price of gasoline apparently has not stopped people from driving to the uh, to the casino uh, or to the track or both okay now now this could be somewhat tricky crossing this service road you know okay so now we're almost out of the parking lot area. You see, there's it's a beaten path. I always take the sidewalk. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful. This is the, the railroad bridge. Yeah. Okay. Now, right now, I'm walking west. It's uh, late afternoon, and the sun is <laughs> over there. <laughs> which means it's west because the sun sets in the west. Well, that's what we've been told. So I'm taking that as an, on an article of faith.
that it, it is in fact the fact that the sun sets in the west. Okay, anyway. Okay, this is, I think this is Hawtree Avenue. And... Crossing the street. Or should I say the avenue? Okay. That's the New York City Transit System Power Station. It's Horse Hortree Street. I thought it was Hortree Avenue. Oh, okay. Whatever. Okay. Now we're approaching 135th Road. And what I'll do is make a, I'll cross the street here, and then we'll start walking through west again on 135th Road. We're walking almost directly into the sun. So the video, they pick up a lot of glare. Okay. Look uh, at the case of the sniffles. Now, we're going to walk north on 97th Street. Well, it could be, yeah, this is 97th Street. Okay. This is 97th Street. Yeah, the sidewalks here are not totally level in some places. So this is Linden Boulevard. Across the street. This is about the most direct route to the Rockway Boulevard station. Now, Aqueduct has a train station, but my theory is that if the weather isn't totally deplorable and I'm able to walk, I should walk. The distance between the Aqueduct Racetrack and the Rockway Boulevard Station is approximately four fifths of a mile. I say approximately. I haven't measured it with, 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 with a ruler or a GPS system or whatever. So I'm estimating based upon the time it usually takes for me to make the walk without stopping.
Okay, this is 134th Avenue. Going across the street, get out of the sun, sunlight. Reduce the glare, make for a better picture. There you go. There was not one cloud in the sky today, the entire day. On the 33rd Avenue. Okay. See, this is 133rd Avenue. Very interesting avenue. People live here. For some people, they call this neighborhood home. Maybe a dog lives here, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, whatever. Bus service. Cherry blossoms. Nice. House with American flag. Interesting. Yeah, you have a number of homes in this area that display the American flag. Oh. Okay. That's how they feel, that's how they feel. Good for them. And a house for sale. Okay.
Yesterday, the weather was considerably warmer and muggier than it is today. Today, the weather was much cooler, cold temperatures, and I believe much lower humidity. Oh, there's, no, there's another American flag. Okay. Oh, there's another American flag across the street. Okay. The American flag. Oh. You notice the sidewalks here are uh, generally not level. That's because of the trees. There are big old trees here. And as you probably know, as these trees get bigger, their roots get bigger. And the roots get so big that sometimes they dislodge the slab, the slabs of, of uh, concrete. And so, this is okay. So now we're almost at Rockway Boulevard. Pigeons. Okay. Normally I go to the Rockaway Boulevard station, but lately I've been actually walking it to the 88th Street station. So we're going to go to the 88th Street station. So now, this is, we're approaching an intersection, a very large intersection. And let me get into the shade here. This is where Liberty Avenue, Woodhaven Boulevard, Rockway Boulevard, and Cross Bay Boulevard meet.
Okay, this is the start of Cross Bay Boulevard. Over there is Woodhaven Boulevard. This is Cross Bay Boulevard. This is Liberty Avenue. And this is Rockaway Avenue. Liberty Avenue, Rockaway Avenue. Lot of, lot of big streets intersect here. This is Sunday and the traffic's heavy. During the, in the Monday through Friday, the traffic on Cross Bay Boulevard and Woodhaven Boulevard is immense. See, this is this is a uh, Cross Bay Boulevard. Okay, they have the green light or the walk sign, I should say. All right. Okay, got to keep on walking on. Right now. We're walking west. This is west. Okay, because the sun, we're walking in the direction of the sun, like I mentioned before. So we're walking in the direction of west. Okay, now again to the sun, you notice there's a lot of, a lot of uh, glare. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get into the shade. I will get into the shade. I'm in the street now, but there's very little traffic, so I think I'm okay. So let's glare. I'm going to cross the street. Oh, there's a motorcycle, motor scooters. Okay. If I walk in the shade, that should cut down on the glare. Okay. So far, we've been on the road for over 23 minutes. This is Liberty Avenue. We're walking west. Post office. Okay. See? 
is Liberty Avenue. And this is This is 91st Street. Garbage. This ain't an auto repair shop. Okay. This is Ozone Park, by the way. If you're interested in knowing the name of this area. Okay. Masjid. I think that's a Muslim place of prayer. Okay. Well, we're at 88th Street. Guess what? Let's let's walk to 80th Street. How's that sound? Sounds good, right? Good. Let's do it. Okay. That's red light. That's red. Now it's green. Okay. Is 88th Street. There's a pigeon. Okay, we're in the shade now. So, no glare. Yeah. Upstairs, we can hear the train. Okay, a couple of bicyclists on the sidewalk. You see, you gotta be careful. Make sure bikes aren't coming your way. Oh, oh, broken window there. Okay.
Okay. 86th Street. Okay. What kind of place is this? Extended warranty, city, city line, transition, transmission. Oh, they, they do transmission. Transmission work. It's my understanding that to replace a transmission may cost four or five thousand dollars. It is my firm understanding that owning an automobile is very expensive. There's the cemetery. Across the street, big Jewish cemetery. <clears throat> Evidence of a bygone era when New York City had a massive Jewish population. But it is incorrect to believe that the Jewish population was that big uh, in days past that they comprised a the majority because the Jewish population of New York City, even at its height, did not even come close to comprising a majority. Not even close. It was large, but not even close. Yet, Hollywood... seems to project this image of New York City as being primarily a Jewish city, which it wasn't, as a matter of fact. It could, one could look up the census figures, to, uh, you know, which would back up what I'm saying. You know, so, and so at any rate, Okay, at any rate, uh, so much for that. This is 84th Street. This must have been a beautiful area like 80 years ago. Or, you know, 100 years ago. Oh, it must have been beautiful. Must have been very rustic. Probably, probably actually suburban or maybe, maybe even still parts of it rural. See, this is the Jewish cemetery. See that? This is evidence of a time when you had a massive Jewish population in New York City. And this is the result. Lots of sem a lot of graves in a huge uh, Jewish cemetery. No dumping. Violators will be pro prosy, I'm sure. There's been all kind of dumping done here, <laughs> inadvertently, not not as a anti-Semitic gesture, but <laughs> it just happens.
this uh, elevated line is where the A train runs. The A train line is the largest single city transit line in the world. I, I, I read that someplace. The largest, longest, I should say. If ever anybody visits me from outside of New York and if I'm able to I'm going to take them to this place this is not a this this Jewish cemetery is not a tourist attraction but it's a place that should be seen because this is as much of a part of New York as Times Square is uh, and any other of the uh, tourist attractions that people spend so much money to see and try to enjoy. Another train. Get out of the glare. Now we reach 80th Street. Now the next stop is Grant Avenue. That's the next stop, Grant Avenue. Hey, what the heck? Let's walk to Grant Avenue. All right, wouldn't you like to see more of this neighborhood? Oh, there's a kid. Oh, look at that. There's, there's cats there. Nice. Okay, so... Now we're walking to Grant Avenue. We're walking west. When we get to Grant Avenue, the, the elevator line will be underground. So, So, we're taking a pleasant walk, Grant Avenue. This is 78th Street. Okay.
Now, Grant Avenue is in Brooklyn, by the way. So when we get to Grant Avenue, we won't even be in Queens anymore. We'll be in Brooklyn. What do you think about that? See, this is, uh, this is Liberty Avenue still. Liberty Avenue is a very long avenue. It goes right into Brooklyn. Okay. Okay, this is the unknown street. No, it's a about Seventy Sixth Street, I believe. Okay, Seventy Sixth Street. Yes. Okay, now we're walking directly into the sun. Okay, soon we're going to get to Grant Avenue. Sorry for the glare. Nothing I could do about it. It's called sunshine. And there's no clouds in the sky. It's not raining. It's not snowing. This is Liberty Avenue, what it looks like. No elevated line. Okay. Store closed. Okay. No more store here. This is Drew, Drew Street, whatever. Okay, let's go. Here, yeah. okay, okay. This is a this is a dead end. I think the next street is Grand Grand Avenue. Okay, this is Drew Street. All right. Pizza and pasta, okay. Four Bell Street. This is Four Bell Street. Okay.
Old Old Street. Okay. This is Liberty Avenue, Elder Street. So this is uh, East New York. I'm still looking for uh, Grant Avenue. <laughs> Should be around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to come over there. Oh, there's Grant Avenue. There it is, Grant Avenue. Okay, the street actually exists. That's not even a street, it's an avenue. Wow. Now, for those of you who have heard of Grant Avenue before, here it is. It actually exists. This is Grant Avenue. Now somewhere on this street should be the train station. The train station should be around here. The elevated train veered to the left and now I'm going in the direction where the train tracks should be, except underground. Okay. All right. Okay. There's a there's a manhole cover. Okay. I believe we are approaching the entrance to the train station. Okay, what I'm gonna do.
in the war. Looks like they're going to be doing some repaving here. All right. You know, municipal improvements. What's the use of having a street if, if it's not repaved every uh, so often, right? Okay. And this is the entrance to the train station. Here it is, the actual entrance to the train station. Here we are at the train station now. I'm going to take my Metro card and put it through the slot. I'm gonna pay my fare as a good citizen, should. And I'm gonna turn off this video. I hope you enjoyed it.